Hey, this is Mr. Mason N, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is practice multiplying decimals together to find the area of a rectangle, a triangle, and the volume of a rectangular prism. First, let's figure out the area of this rectangle right here. To find the area of any rectangle, you just multiply its length by its width. And the length of this rectangle is 4.5 or 4 in 5 tenths meters. And the width of this rectangle is 7 in 2 tenths or 7.2 meters. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pretend there's no decimal in this problem. I'm not even going to worry about the decimal until I get all of my digits at the bottom and then put it in its proper place. So we're going to start by multiplying 2 by 45, which is 90. And then we're going to put a 0 right here to signify that we have completed this place value. And then we have to multiply 7 by 45, which is 300. 15. And then we just have to quickly add these columns together. This is a 0, this is 14, this is a 2, and this column is a 3. Now, in the problem, we have a place value located after this decimal and a place value located at this decimal. And what you do is you have to take all of the place values after all of your decimals and add that together, we would say that we have two total place values after all of our decimals. So the same must be true in our answer. So we go down to the bottom here, and starting from the end, we skip over one, two place values, and then we write our decimal in that position. So we would say the area of this rectangle is equal to 32 and 4 tenths square meters. All right, let's use decimal multiplication to find the area of a triangle. Okay, one thing that we should remember about a triangle is that the area it occupies is exactly half of a rectangle. If we took this triangle right here and we flipped it over on itself, we could form a rectangle that looks something like this. And we can clearly see that this triangle occupies half the space of its rectangle. Now, what that means is, we basically can multiply the length and the width of the triangle and then take that result and divide by 2. However, we do not call the two given dimensions of a triangle its length and its width. We call them the base and the height. So to find the area of any triangle, we can multiply the base by its height and then divide by 2. Or we can take 1 half times the base times the height which is the same thing as base times height divided by 2. Because if we multiplied 1 times base times height, that would equal base times height. And if we multiply 2 times 1 times 1, that would be 2, which is still base times height divided by 2. And sometimes you might even see the formula 0.5 times base times height. We should remember that multiplying anything by 0.5 is the same thing as dividing by 2 or finding half of something. Now, because we're dealing with decimals right now, what we're going to do is we are going to use this version of the equation. So let's start by multiplying 16 times 8.5. So let's rewrite this equation here as 0.5 multiplied by the base of the triangle, which is 16 multiplied by the height of the triangle, which is 8.5, or 8.5. Now, whenever you multiply anything by 0.5, it is the same thing as taking half of that number. So I can read 0.5 times 16 as taking half of 16, and half of 16 is equal to 8. So we can take 8 and multiply that by 8.5. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of mental math here. We're going to start by multiplying 8 by 8, which is 64. And now we're going to take 8 and multiply it by 0.5, which is the same thing as taking half of 8. And half of 8 is 4. So I take these two results now and add them together for a total of 68. So we would say the area of this triangle is 68 
square centimeters. Now, just to verify that this is 68 square centimeters, let's just multiply the traditional way here. I always try to apply mental math when possible, just to make things a bit easier. So we would take 8 times 5, which is 40, and carry the 4. And then we have 8 times 8, which is 64, plus 4 more is 68. And because we only have one digit after this decimal here, the same is true in our answer, so we put it here. So we also have one digit after our decimal. And we have verified that the area is 68 square centimeters. All right, now we're going to use decimal multiplication to find the volume of a rectangular prism. To find the volume of any rectangular prism, that will always be equal to its length times its width times its height. And the length of this rectangular prism is 1.1 centimeters. The width of this rectangular prism is 5.2 centimeters, and its height is seven and a half or 7.5 centimeters. So we basically are just multiplying three lengths together to figure out our volume. Let's start by multiplying the length times width together. So we're gonna write 5.2 times 1.1. And I love it when you multiply with ones because our job is really easy. We're gonna do one times 52, which is 52 and we have to put a zero in this spot here. And one times 52, of course, is 52 again. And we add these columns together for a total of 572, but we must remember that we have a decimal in the problem, so we need one in the answer. We have one, two place values altogether in the problem after our decimals, so our decimal point would go in this position. So now we have to take the product of these two numbers, which is, 5.72 and multiply that by 7.5. So let's go off here to the side and take 5.72 and multiply it by 7.5. All right, so we have 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 7 is 35, plus that one we carried is 36. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3 is 28. And we put a 0 in this position. And 7 times 2 is 14. We carry a 1. 7 times 7 is 49, plus 1 more is 50. So we put a 5 up here. And we multiply 5 times 7, which is 35, plus 5 more is 40. And then we add all of these digits together to come up with our answer after putting our decimal in the correct place. So this is a 0, 10, 9, 2, and 4. And in the problem, we have two place values after this decimal and one after that decimal for a total of one, two, three place values altogether. So we go to the bottom here at the end and we jump over one, two, three place values. So the volume of this rectangular prism is equal to 42 and 9 tenths cubic centimeters. We have to remember that volume is measured in cubic units, so we have to label this cubic centimeters. All right, so we just reviewed how you multiply decimals together and where the decimal point goes in your answer. And we use decimal multiplication to find the area of a rectangle and a triangle, and also to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism. Hey, I just want to say thanks very much for checking out my math video. Please subscribe to my channel so when I upload new math videos, you can become informed as they become available.